And top for 10. Top for 10 on this lovely Saturday afternoon. Yeah, sun's shining, it's absolutely amazing blue sky. And behind us, I'll give you a shot, there is Sunny Beach with a blue, oh, beautiful coloured sea, it's amazing. The blue sky, green hills, absolutely stunning. There is a bit of a breeze, that's why I've got my jacket on, to light jacket, because out of the wind it's fantastic today. And we're actually up at Old Nessie Bar. Um, did film New Nessie Bar the other day, and uh, on the tip of my finger here, <laughs> hey, there's the um, new bar that we filmed. Um, oh, it's actually enough. open today, the craft beer bar, Ferdinand's. It's open, there's people sitting outside, we managed to get it going. And uh, we're on the causeway heading to old Nessie Bar in the old town, Nessie This has had a major improvement work this year, very major work. Um, all the old concrete's been ripped up, it's all nicely block paved now and they've restored the windmill. The mill itself looks absolutely fantastic. And uh, the reason we come today is uh, quite a few people are coming in the next week or so. And it's very early season. So it'd be great if you're in Sunny Beach this next week, get the bus or the mini train which should be running from Monday and come up to Old Nessie Bar for a trip out because there's so many restaurants open here. It's very active. Um, more than Sunny Beach will be this week. It is opening. I've spoken to a couple of bar, bars this morning and uh, through the week they will be opening. But you can come here, it's really busy, a fantastic touristy place. What? Right, <coughs> we're at the, um, the old gates to the old town. Look at a beautiful, ah, falling over. <laughs> Some really old gates. Um, fantastic entrance. And at this point you've got a choice, you go left or right. If you head to, the, to your right, follow it round, lots of, uh, Really nice fish restaurants and the marina. Some very nice boats there to go and gawp at, I suppose is a word. <laughs> oh, a bit of envy there every time I go and look. And going the other way to your left, there is the little fishing harbour, the old fashioned harbour there. Um, that's a nice, a nice thing to have a look at there and then you can wander around and the path that runs past the harbour there goes the entire way virtually around around the peninsulas so you can go you can head off one way and end up back at the other if you fancy a long walk and uh, all these people here are waiting at the bus stop because this is where the bus drops you off or picks you up from sunny beach and uh, that's the causeway and uh, so we're only just just there across the bay from sunny beach it's a couple of miles You can see it's absolutely full of people because this is where the Bulgarians come if um, before the season, before Sunny Beach really opens up. It's a bank holiday this weekend, it's May holiday, and this is where they come for a stroll out, a drink and a meal. The car parks are absolutely full. Lots of places to sit and have a coffee and chill take your time and relax. As you walk along, lots and lots of little shops, lots of leather, lots of shoes. There's quite a few little jewelers here as well. Um, a lot of jewelers. Also a few, a couple of on the right here doing handbags leather handbags. So we're heading, we're heading up towards the centre of the, the old town here. Past one of the oldest churches which is in this little green in the centre, which is really nice. So lots of people sitting about today, taking in the sun. And one of the great things about coming to Sunny Beach it's, uh, if you're coming here on holiday, you've got the resort itself. 
which is a holiday resort like any other with big hotels, restaurants. Um, but you're only two miles from this amazing World Heritage Site, this preserved little town. Um, with all this, look at this, with gorgeous, gorgeous churches. Wow. So that adds a bit of contrast to your holiday and it's so easy to get here. It's, it's a couple of lever on the bus from Central Sunny Beach. It's not a lot to come up and uh, have an afternoon out. It's actually gorgeous. It really is nice here. There are the, some nice set of ruins right in the center of Neseba. Neseba. It's one of the oldest towns in Europe. And in the summer, you might actually catch a wedding here if you're lucky. They do actually have ceremonies here. Uh, it's stunning when they do a wedding and they dress the place up. It's absolutely amazing. And a great example of Byzantine building, which is a mixture of stone and tile. And um, you can see how these, oh, oh, it's built. Stone, tile and brick. Ah, there you go. Wow. And the thing, it isn't just bars in Bulgaria. Um, there are, in Nessie Bar, there are lots of little coffee shops. You can sit and have a, a really nice coffee and of course the obligatory restaurants and the seafood restaurant there are loads of these restaurants because a big proportion of the uh, island the peninsula you can actually see the sea from so it's a bit of a nautical theme i suppose and lots of artwork is on display they're trying to sell the art on the streets as well lots of little pictures and paintings. One of the really nice things about the old town is there's lots and lots of benches and places to sit and just relax and this is one of the sort of parks and we're actually facing Sunny Beach. So there you go you can sit on a bench and just take in that magnificent view of Vlas all the way around to Sunny Beach and to New Nessie Bar. Isn't that a fantastic view these people have got just sitting there and relaxing this afternoon in the gorgeous sunshine? <laughs> it could be you in a few weeks, I don't know. It might be you as well. well I've made our, way, made our way down to the harbour now. I see lots of uh, small fishing boats here. There's the ferry boats all stacked up behind, ready to go. And um, behind us, there's some guys actually getting one of the ferry boats ready. Just working on that. Uh, this harbour has got a lot of floating pontoons in now. Quite a few new berths from when we first come. Done a lot of work on this the last couple of years. And uh, the ferry from Sunny Beach actually drops you along these along the bottom here so if literally five minutes back to the main square in Nessie Bar uh, in the old town there if you come on the boat it's not a very long walk okay we've got a line of restaurants opposite the little harbour here loads of them there you go run right along the road and there's a lower level here pedestrian level here looking at the harbour and then above them are lots of restaurants with the balconies higher up giving you a better view that takes your choice where you go and eat and the view here is panoramic and beautiful so we're now heading from the uh, main bus stop the opposite direction and along here are lots of fish restaurants lots of them <laughs> um, there you go all along the road lots of restaurants and there's some out on sort of stilts actually built into the harbour you can sit on top of the water as well 
Very nice view. There we go. Oh, this is part of it. Tables. Oh, wow. This is really nice. So we've got the front part of the restaurant. We come through. We can catch fish over here if you want to. And then we have this amazing terrace overlooking the harbour. Wow. Over there and he's there. busy. Thank you very much. You're Go take welcome. a seat. Well, I've actually got our table, and uh, I don't think you could actually be closer to the, the harbour and the water than actually sitting here. How about that for a place to eat? Hey, all oh, right. So, a meal this afternoon. This is what Susan is having fish soup. fish soup, which is very Bulgarian, a local dish. And we actually are obviously by the sea, so. So in fish soup, we've got chips, cheesy chips. They put a white cheese on the chips. That's what we have here. We've got a garlic and bread. And now I've got local fish, which is horse mackerel, which are small fish that are basically deep fried and you eat them whole. <laughs> Interesting experience, but there you go. I've done it before. Um, so a nice meal in a very warm spot here in the harbour. We're very, very sheltered. Very nice. It's called the fish, the fish house. If you're visiting in the next few months, you can come and have a meal. So, a fish comes like this. Um, just the fried whole fish. Um, the bones are very, very fine. You can't you can't tell when you're eating them. Very, very fine. Um, so it's a case of just head first, and uh, down it goes. Actually, really tasty. Actually, really nice. So there you go, that's how you eat horse mackerel. Just one of these little things in Bulgaria. That's how you should eat it, like the locals do. Oh, that's a good one. Susan paying the bill. Oh, it's sort of a restaurant in several parts. It sort of runs from the front road to the back. Um, although this is absolutely gorgeous. It's got the enclosed bit here with the plastic. It was a bit cooler, a bit of wind. And terraces outside. Wow, what a location. That's been really nice. So it's chow chow from uh, a very sunny old Nessie bar where that fantastic meal on the harbour cost us 42 leather. Chow chow! <laughs> <laughs>